Okay, synthetic division. We're doing the same question we did before. This is a quadratic, and they want us to divide by x plus 2. Um, first thing we need to do is we've got to figure out what our k value is going to be. Our k value is usually what's outside of the synthetic division, okay? This being our k value. We set what we're dividing by equal to 0 in order to solve it. So x plus 2 equals 0. What is x? Negative. Yeah, you already knew it. Good job. So we then set it up. That's our k outside. We set up this comma. This looks like an upside down division. And we write the coefficients in that we had before. Our coefficients from these terms here. Well, our coefficients are, in this case, 1, negative 7, and negative 10. Right? Uh, the very first step to synthetic division is we actually take down the first coefficient and just bring it directly below. Okay? So the first coefficient is 1. That's going to be our answer for the first one. Now, the only difference between synthetic division and long division is that when we put our terms underneath, which we're about to find, so first of all, this 1, we're going to multiply it by our k value, negative 2. So 1 times negative 2 gives us what? Negative 2. Now, in long division, we usually do subtraction. Synthetic, we do addition. Okay? Think of it like our upside down long division, so we use a different sign. So we add these two together. Negative 7 plus negative 2 gives us? Negative. Negative 9. What's negative 2 times negative 9? 18. Perfect. Negative 10 plus... Is it a positive? Nope, sorry, positive. Thank you. Negative 10 plus positive 18? 8. 8. Okay. Well, this last term is our remainder. Oh, Re oh I better spell that right. Remainder. Perfect. Okay. So, what this is now is this is the first set okay, of variables, this is the second set. So think of this like, when we go to write this in, this negative 9 is our constant, 8 is our remainder, so we have remainder 8, our constant is negative 9, this one value we have to attach an x to it, so it's going to be x or 1x, okay? So we have 1x, negative 9, we originally divided by x plus 2, and our remainder 8 is the same as saying um, plus 8 at the end of that. Okay, so what was important here, let me highlight this, what was important is these values here, 1 and negative 9, are essentially what go inside this bracket, and the 8 is our remainder at the end, okay, or in other words, remainder 8. So these terms we find at the bottom of synthetic division are what go into this bracket. And let's say it was a longer question, just for argument's sake. Let's say we had another term here that was 2. Well, then this would be 2x squared, this would be 1x, and that would be 9. So for every term, we increase the variable's exponent by 1. So here we had no exponent, then we had power of 1. Another term would give us power of 2, right? And then another term would be x to the power of 3. It really depends on how large the original one is. Because this is a quadratic power of 2, we're going down by 1, so the highest power will be to the power of 1. Had this been cubed, our answer would for sure have been x squared, something x, and then a constant. Okay? That's just for future reference. Okay.